Tonight we are getting answers as to why we've seen several new cases, not only in the metro, but across the country. It goes through the public faster because nobody has immunity against this. No one has ever seen this virus before, so it just goes whoop, like wildfire. Versus influenza, every year it goes through, but you've seen some of it, people have some immunity, there's some cross protection, and so it, it, it slowed down a little bit in its spread, but it still spreads like wildfire when influenza start, it just goes, right? So this is the same thing, but without any immunity, a brand new virus introduced into the world. So as the virus spreads across the country, the race for more testing, a vaccine, and a cure continues. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield is joining us now on what a Lee Summit-based clinic is doing. Well, Kevin and Dia, tomorrow, patient samples from across the country will be sent to Viacor and tested for COVID-19. The goal, help stop the virus from spreading. Behind these walls in Lee Summit, a massive effort is underway to help identify who tests positive for COVID-19. So we knew the challenge we were up against from, uh, I'd say, probably the end of December, the first part of January. Viracor scientists have been working around the clock for the last six weeks to develop a coronavirus test that is finally available to doctors and medical providers across the country. The physician decides a patient meets the case criteria and and needs this test, then they would collect the sample and send it to us. The test actually looks for the, the genetic material of the SARS coronavirus. The results expected to be delivered in 12 to 18 hours. A quick turnaround, doctors say, is critical to slowing the virus. As more tests come available, it's gonna make our job both harder and easier. Easier in that we'll know who's positive and what to do harder in that people like you and me may test positive and we're sitting right here and we're just fine. That's why the race is also on to find a vaccine. The key lying in one of the virus's spikes. And that piece, we break it off, show it to the body so that the body can learn to recognize it. So when it sees it in real life, it will attack it before it can infect you. With clinical trials slated to begin as early as May, a vaccine is not expected to be available for at least another year because there are three phases that must happen to make sure the vaccine is safe. People want a vaccine now, but if you throw out a vaccine quickly into a public that's not safe, you're going to cause more problems than solutions. So until a vaccine is approved, the coronavirus testing will be key. We're planning for um, up to a thousand tests a, a week. Um, it certainly could go higher than that, and we have the capacity to start looking at that. Um, it, it could go up to that level a day. Just to give you a sense of how in demand the tests are, it usually takes about six months to develop one. It took the company six weeks. Ooh. Oh, wow. Very fast. Thanks, Ariel. A reminder, the CDC put out a list of symptoms for COVID-19. If you have a fever, dry cough, and are experiencing shortness of breath, you may have contracted the virus.